Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the company presentation of First Tin here on Commodity TV. The world's seventh largest undeveloped tin deposit is owned by the German-Australian tin company First Tin. Unlike its competitors, the advanced tin projects are located in secure mining areas in Germany and Australia with good infrastructure, low investment costs and high value. To fast track the projects to a construction deadline in 2024, the company raised 20 million pounds via its IPO in London on 8 April this year. This will be used to fund two feasibility studies and a drilling program in the coming months. The goal is to become the largest publicly traded supplier of sustainable tin for the fourth industrial revolution. To that end, First Tin has consolidated three assets. Tellerhäuser in Gottesberg are located in the mining-friendly state of Saxony in Germany and the Taronga project in the Australian state of New South Wales. Tellerhäuser is to be, de to be developed underground and has a 50-year mining license of the high-grade wars. The Australian Taronga project is to be an open pit mine, which has simple mineralogy. Newman owned and developed the project back in the mid-1980s, but the collapse of the tin cartel and the tin price in 1985 caused Newman to pull out. The calculated net present value of the projects at tin prices of $30,000 and $40,000 per ton is $440 million and respectively $770 million. In total, First Tin has proven a probable reserves of 36,000 tons and indicated an inferred resource of 143,000 tons. Extensive confirmation, extension and exploration drilling for resource enhancement is planned for both projects in the coming months. Concurrently, various studies and permitting processes are underway. First Tin intends to take advantage of the emerging shortage in the tin market to bring its two advanced projects in Germany and Australia to production readiness by 2025. From then on, the company plans to produce around 6,000 tons of tin per year initially and as much as 10,000 tons from 2030 onwards. Not only the projects are top, but also the management has a lot to offer in terms of experience and success. Thomas Bünger, CEO of First Tin, was a former member of the executive board and COO, CTO at one of the world's leading copper and multi-metal producers, Aurubis AG, where he was responsible for production facilities with sales of around 8 billion euros. In addition, he was responsible for the construction of inner city production facilities in Hamburg, so he is also very familiar with approval procedures. With a market cap of just shy of 41 million pounds, no debt and a prestigious shareholder base, First Tin is in an excellent position. The Emerging Explorer is developing its two high-marching advanced tin projects in the right places at the right time. Rising global demand for renewables and electric vehicles combined with stagnant supply promises stable tin prices in the future. First Tin impresses with conflict-free, reliable, ESG-compliant future production at a foreseeable low cost of $12,000 to $14,000 per ton. Please note the superimposed disclaimer now. The stock will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I will be a shareholder of the company. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.